Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Relitza and this is Readings with Rally. I hope that you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to take a look at what are they saying about you to their friends. So this video is designed so that you can pick multiple groups, multiple piles, of course, if you want, um, just basing them off of different people. So um, this is just going to be like for everybody. It's not just for romance. It's not for friends. It's just what are they saying to other people about you? So I am pretty excited about this because I heard some news that somebody was gossiping dun 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 about me um, and I was pretty surprised to hear from my from my friend what they were saying. So I thought that this would, would be fun and maybe a little bit illuminating for us to do. So um, there will be an extended. Of course, if you wanted to book a personal reading with me, you can always do so at www.readingswithrally.com. I'm very excited. I just hope you guys are doing well. Um, okay, so let me show you our piles here. We have three piles to choose from today. Pile one is the Amethyst. Pile two is the Crystal Price. And pile three is the Rose Quartz. So if you did need some more time, please go ahead and pause the video here. I'm going to go ahead though and start with pile number one. Hello, hello, pile number one. If you chose this amethyst, then this is your reading on what are they saying to others about you? What are they telling their friends about you? Okay, let me go ahead here and tap into your energy. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, can you please help me to connect to the collective that chose power number one, please? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, we wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support, for your clarity, and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so pile number one, I was originally hearing the name Penelope. So somebody's name here could be with a P, a very prominent P first or last. Then I was hearing Penny. Um, and for, and then I was hearing Penny Pincher. So for some of you, I feel like you guys have been really on a budget or you've been putting yourself on some kind of a budget recently, which I mean, I totally, totally support. Um, but there's definitely a sense of this person and you, this person was kind of like not treating you the best, um, and I think you guys were kind of aware of that, but you did have a crush or you liked this person a lot. But I think that this person was kind of condescending is really the energy I was getting. Some of you are obviously very intuitive. You did choose the amethyst or it's like your intuition is trying to tell you something right now. So please make sure to tap in. Let's take a look here. What are they saying to their friends about pile number one? What are they saying about pile number one to their friends? What are they saying? We have the eight of cups. And we have the Queen of Swords. You guys could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I definitely get the sense that you are somebody who's very hardworking. I think that you guys are really um, growing. There's a sense here of shifting. There's a sense of evolving. And I feel like you're stepping into a lot more alignment, um, specifically with work. I think you guys are like not really interested in you know love. You're very hardworking. This person could be saying that you were primarily interested in um, you know making something right via work or accomplishing a goal. You guys are very driven, very ambitious, um, and you have very high standards. Now, the Queen of Swords is sometimes known as the bitch of the deck, okay? So some of you could have like a little bit of a bone to pick with this person. This person might be trying to deflect a lot of the responsibility onto you. Someone's name could start with an A. I'm hearing Amara. Amara, what a beautiful name. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. One more. One more, please, so I can get a complete picture. One more. We have the Page of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles did also come out. I'm not going to take her, but for some of you guys, um, there could have been a third party involved here. I just have to be honest because now we have two queens. So I feel like this person is trying to tell other people here that you prioritize work over them. I feel like this person... So you, if this was like a romantic relationship, this person is definitely outwardly blaming you for this connection ending. They could say that you've got cold feet. You didn't want to um, marry them. You didn't want to take the relationship to the next level. You're not really interested in love. I feel like that's bullshit. Excuse my French, because I do get a lot of deflecting energy from this person. Now, they are also um, watching you with that page of swords. So this person's still keeping a very, very close eye on you. I just want you to be aware of that because I do feel like intuitively you would pick this up or you would feel this. I also feel like there could have been an age gap here. 
For some of you, this person might be posting online about you. I know that sounds weird, but I am feeling like, um, like an anonymous person or trying to like pretend like they're anonymous. So if you guys have been hate getting like hate mail from somebody anonymously, it could definitely be this person. Tell me more, please. What is pile one? This person, like what, what's being said about pile one? We have the seven chakra Archangel Uriel. We did get the amethyst. I was picking up on that already. You guys have a very, very active crown chakra. Um, I feel like intuitively you guys already kind of know what it is that this person's saying about you. You could just be using this video as confirmation. But there's a strong sense of understanding here that this person, they know. Sorry, my dogs are bumping. <laughs> Stop, can you get off of this? They're just sitting on the tripod. Okay, that's probably okay. As long as they don't move. Very, very, um, you're very, very clear though on this person. I feel like you guys have a lot of intuitive knowing in and of yourself. Sometimes you forget to tap into that. We have storm warning. This person could be saying you have a temper. They could be saying that you create a lot of fights or arguments. Again, I really genuinely feel like this is a person who likes to deflect. There's definitely a sense of bullshit here. This person could be blaming you or saying that you have a poor temper or you're not good, very good at controlling your temper. The world. First shocker, Archangel Michael. I feel like you guys ultimately though, are a lot more secure than this person. Now this could be financial, this could just be in yourself. But for some reason, this person feels like they have to bring you down in public um, because they're actually really lacking security. I feel like this is someone who's got a really, really blocked root chakra. And this is creating all kinds of issues for this person. Um, I kind of feel like they just need to take accountability for their own life, but this person seems hell bent on destroying you in public and really bringing you down. This person also might be communicating that you have moved on, that you're not interested in them anymore. Um, this ending could have been tumultuous or this person could be saying that you were the one who made this ending so harsh. What's being said about pile one, please. What are they telling their friends? We have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. I feel like ultimately though, this person you know, could be saying that they're a lot happier without you in their life, which again, I think is bullshit because I still feel this person really watching you. But I feel like you guys know too that you had to make the changes to pursue your own happiness. That was something that was really, really important to you. And so what you did here by pulling away from this person was done in a way so that you could feel a sense of security. You guys are very driven, very ambitious. We have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I just heard Virgo. Some of you could be a Virgo. Um, sun, moon, or rising. But this person could also be saying that, you know, you were very unhealthy in your patterns. Okay, I hate to say this, but I am hearing it. So trigger warning. Um, but for some of you, this person is talking about your body. Okay, they could be uh, complaining about your body or saying how you weren't taking care of yourself or you were too focused. But this person might be discussing your habits of eating um, or health with other people. And I hate saying that. That makes me feel yucky, but that is what I'm hearing. Lots of green though, I'm surprised because I actually feel like this person um, has a lot of feelings for you, honestly. And it's like, they don't want to admit that. So they are choosing to demonize, I guess, you instead. We have acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Yeah, with the world card here too, I feel like this person, they just kind of like pretend as if um, they were kind of the, the ones who decided to do this. When really I do feel like a lot of the choice fell within you guys. I also feel like this person, um, they are still struggling to accept whatever happened here. I feel like for many of you, this is like a breakup situation. This person is not happy with that. Let's get one. I'm going to do three, actually. Two. Okay. Tell me what this person is saying, please. Excuse my big arm. We have kite with vacation. Okay, for, so for some of you, you could be traveling a lot. This person could be talking about your trips, what it is that you're doing, where it is that you're exploring. Um, for some of you, this person could be, I'm literally hearing showing pictures. So if you guys went on some kind of a holiday with this person, or if you are recently or have recently been on some kind of a holiday, this person's definitely showing other people your pictures. You have broken wishbone, which will not be granted. Yeah, you guys, you were this person's wish fulfillment. And I feel like that's part of the reason that they are so salty is because you were their wish fulfillment. And I think that this person really messed up. And because of that, I feel you guys have really pulled away, but yet this person continues to project a lot of energy onto you um, and think about you a lot, which I feel you would feel with that amethyst because you were their wish fulfillment. 
And this person I think was very childish and I do feel like, you know, especially if this was a romantic person, I think you guys are in the in doing a good thing here by backing away. We have pen, new job and career. Definitely you guys are focused on some kind of work here. And I do think that this person um, is communicating that to other people. They do seem to want to discuss what you're up to in terms of your work and your job. Now, for those of you who have started a new career or who are specifically entrepreneurs, I'm getting a side message here that 2023 is gonna bring you a shit ton of success. That's literally what Spirit just said. So, you know, continue to channel that energy into your career. But this person is salty, you know, and I really feel like they're not wanting to take accountability. So yes, pile number one, that is what I have. Um, there will be an extended here. Um, the link for that will be in the description box. I just want to say too that whatever it is that you're doing, just continue to do it. It does feel to me like you are in this amazing space of growth and you're in this amazing space of being highly, highly respected for what it is that you're doing, which I think is really beautiful. So you're definitely um, thriving and don't let this person make you feel otherwise. Okay. Hello, hello, pal number two. How are you? Oh, we're starting at 1111. That feels very synchronistic for me. Um, so here's your stone. You chose crystal prey. So let me go ahead here and tap in. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please help me to connect to the energy here of pile number two? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile number two, specifically related to what is this person saying to their friends about them? We wanted to thank you for keeping Pao Tu safe. We wanted to thank you for keeping Pao Tu protected. We love and appreciate you so much. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, um, I was getting a very strong presence here of a mother or a mother figure around you. Okay, so some of you here are, um, this could be your mom or a family member that's close to you, but some of you, I feel like there is like a um, ancestor who's deceased, if I'm being honest. Um, around you right now. This person's offering you a lot of protection. The rose could be significant here. Someone's name could be Rose or this this um, grandmother or mother figure could have Rose in their name. Now roses to me are, well, roses, roses are the highest vibrational flower. So I do find this very interesting. I think some of you guys are really shifting and evolving. Let's take a look here. Tell me about this person, please. What are they saying to their friends about how to? We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles. What are those? What's this person saying? We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. And we have the Three of Wands. Okay. You guys could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising coming through immediately. Now, one thing I do want to say is I actually feel like this person regardless of if this is romantic or not, um, or just a friend or a cousin, I feel like this person has been missing you and they wanna approach um, and come back into your life. This person feels like they're talking to you, um, to other people about how they can kind of make that move because they wanna make you some kind of an offer here with that Ace of Pentacles. This person finds you very attractive. They feel like you are um, really working on yourself. For some of you, you could have just gone through some major body changes. I do feel like this person, there's kind of like a crush energy coming through, but I just feel this person really cares about you a lot and they would like to make you some kind of an offer here. So they're talking to their friends to try to feel out um, how it is that they can do that. This person thinks you're a very hard worker. Um, they think that you are very sweet. For those of you who have children, this person is talking about how wonderful you are with your children. Sorry about the wind, by the way. It's been like we're not under a snowfall warning yet, but I do feel it's going to happen soon. Um, this person, they really do think very highly of you, I feel. And I think this person's trying to communicate that to other people. Now, there's definitely nervousness here. I don't know why this person feels a little bit nervous about contacting you or being around you. They, they think about that a lot. Um, and that makes them feel a bit stuck. Like they don't know how to come forward. But I think this person has a lot of respect for you. Tell me more, please. What is this person saying? We have second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay, so for some of you, this is gonna be a romantic reading. This person could say that you're very creative, you're very sexy. Um, they're definitely drawn to you like a moth to a flame. I feel like this person is saying that you have a lot of people admiring you or paying attention to you. Um, this person definitely sees you as somebody who's worthy of that, um, worthy of having other people pay attention to you. We have envy. Yeah, I feel like you guys attract a lot of attention and I think you guys know this. This person is definitely seeing you as somebody who is um, 
different than other people in a good way. This person could also be defending you is what I'm hearing, okay? So for some of you, I feel like there's people who are like shit talking you and this person's definitely um, defending you. We have first chakra, Archangel Michael in reverse. I feel like you make this person feel like they're going a little bit crazy in their head. You know, this person feels like they just want to come closer to you, move forward with you, and they feel like nervous or scared about that. They definitely have a lot of sweetness that they feel towards you. This person could also be trying to figure out new opportunities to work on their own stability so that they are able to approach you because I feel primarily that this person really, really does want to step into more alignment. They really do. This person wants to step into more alignment. They want to step into more growth. Um, they want to be better for you, regardless of if this is romantic or in a friendship capacity. We have cornucopia. Yeah, this person feels like you're very abundant naturally. Um, and this is something that's really, they admire that a lot. I feel like for some of you, this person didn't have a lot of abundance growing up. Or this is something that they're struggling with. Tell me more, please. This person has a bit of a warrior spirit and I feel like they see you as somebody who needs protecting. This person, I feel like is very, very, very um, protective of you. We have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. I do feel like this person is telling other people that you make them feel very happy, that they want you to be happy. Like I genuinely think this person has a lot of really good feelings towards you. We have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. I feel like this person is scared of getting rejected. They're scared of you denying them. But I also feel like this person, they feel like you have had to sacrifice a lot to get to where you are. Um, you're definitely somebody who has worked very, very hard on yourself and you deserve a lot of the success, the luxury and the abundance that you're now gonna find yourself um, working with. I feel like you guys have been really, really either frugal or just like very entrepreneurial mindset, kind of expansive, um, very dedicated and loyal people. And I feel like this person is scared of rejection, but they're also like impressed with you. Honestly, this person feels like they are very, very impressed with you and what you bring to the table. I really like this energy. We have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So this person, you know, could not be in your life anymore. You know, this could have been someone where there was a falling out. Now I do feel here like this person, they, they do miss you. I feel like there's a lot of regret um, and this person's constantly thinking of ways to come back towards you. This person could also feel like you're very funny or you might use um, humor as a way to, to deflect or diffuse a situation or this person could be like that, but someone here is definitely using humor. But this person, you know, they, they really are very, very impressed with you and what you have created for yourself. I do feel that. Um, let me take some of these, please. What is this person, what are they saying please to their friends about pile number two? What are they saying to their friends? I'm gonna do three here. What are they saying to my friends? I'm just seeing the star card here as well in my mind's eye. So for some of you, it could be like quite popular, you know, or there's a, definitely a sense of like a star quality that you naturally have. I really do feel that. There's like a, a sense of you guys being very, um, very attractive on some sort of, sort of a level. And I think a lot of different people are, are noticing you. We have older man, okay, dealings or relationships with an older man. So this person could be older than you. Um, and I was getting an age gap here, especially with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So this could be like somebody who's quite a bit older, but I also feel like this person just feels like they have a lot of experience or like they um, have been waiting a long time. This person that I'm tapping into their energy feels like they've had to grow up pretty quickly here too. We have flowers, happiness. Okay, I just have to say here we have happiness twice okay pile two so that's kind of the key word i think for this particular pile um but again this person and it's funny because i was picking up a rose already um when i was originally tapping in so this person could have liked to give you flowers or again they just see you as somebody who's incredibly worthy and incredibly loving and just really really special to them this person loves you but they also see you as somebody who makes them feel very very happy very secure in themselves um and you just spread a lot of joy. They're very proud of you. I, I really, this is, is very, very sweet energy. We have angel, wow. Oh my gosh, spiritual spiritual guidance, protection from harm, which is funny because I was saying that this person's very, very protective of you. But 
for some of you, like this person views you as kind of an angel. Like they think that you are so special, so unique, so different that you kind of are an angel in this person's eyes. And I feel like they love you. I really do. This person wants um, to do a lot with you. They, they see you as somebody worth investing in. And I feel like this person has really nothing but good things to say. Now, this is a person, even if you haven't talked to this person in five years or something, doesn't matter. This person still sees you as um, somebody that is very, very special and very unique. And they, they think really highly of you. Now, with this crystal price, again, I always remember in the, what is it called? The crystal deck that this one is, um, I think it says, allow yourself to, to receive. And I think that that's really pretty here too. So again, this person, I feel like they do want to give. What a beautiful reading. I was not expecting this, but I'm really, really happy um, <laughs> about this. So yes, pile two, that was your spread. There's gonna be an extended, of course. Um, if you wanted to purchase that, that will be in the description box. I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, you guys are really thriving, you're doing well. And I just really wanted to say that um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. It means, it means a lot to me. I know there's lots of readers and you guys could watch lots of different people. So thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day. Hello, hello, pile number three. If you chose the rose quartz and this is your reading, let me go ahead here and tap in. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, can you please help me connect to the collective energy that chose pile number three? Please come forth with messages of truth, clarity, and accuracy for pile number three so that they can have the best possible reading. As always, I wanted to say a big thank you to you for your support for your kindness and for your accuracy. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you guys have a very, um, there's like a gentle energy coming through. So I don't know if that's this person or you. I was also hearing the name Amy. Um, and I was hearing that song by Mario. I think it's Mario Williams. I don't remember. It's called, I don't wanna know. If you're playing me, keep it on the low. So this person, um, or you know, there could have been some kind of a third party here or cheating or some kind of betrayal or dishonesty here. I also was getting a lot of uh, blue around you. So some of you could have a very active throat chakra. You could be singers, speakers, writers. Like there's something very uh, significant here about communicating. Someone could be eating the candy Rolo. I don't know. Do you guys have that in the States? Um, but I just, <laughs> I saw the little Rolo. So I don't even know if they make those. Um, okay. Anyways, pile number three, please. What is this person saying to their friends about pile three? We have the devil and the hanged man. This person is hella obsessed, okay? This person could be a Capricorn or a Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. But with the devil there, I do feel like they are still really, really fixated on this connection regardless of how long it's been since the two of you communicated. It doesn't really matter. This person is still really holding on and thinking about this connection quite a lot with that hanged man. They seem to be really placing a lot of um, energy towards you still. This person could also say that, you know, um, trigger warning for some of you, this person thinks you have addiction issues or they feel like you're not really um, open, specifically within your heart chakra. You have the five of wands. This person could be in competition with you or they could perceive you as having, as them having to like fight for you or something. I do feel this person is talking about competing. They definitely feel like primarily they care about themselves and primarily they're not afraid to put in um, effort or work into doing what they feel like they need to do. This person also feels like you guys are, okay, what's that word called? Like you're willing to kind of step over everybody to achieve your goal. Um, so they are saying as well that you are selfish, which is funny because that's really opposite than the energy I was actually picking up from you. There's a three of pentacles in reverse. You don't want to collaborate anymore with this person and I feel like they are blaming that on you. We also have the tower here in the four of wands. Okay, so I'm just going to take the tower, but for some of you, this could be a marriage situation that fell apart. Perhaps there was a third party, but with that three of pentacles and the five of wands, this person is saying, you know, that you guys are very focused on yourselves. You don't care about anything, but you, who you are. Like, I feel like this person's trying to paint you as like kind of a villain, if I'm being honest. They definitely seem to have a lot of interest in um, trash talking you. And again, that's really funny because that wasn't the energy I was initially getting. So this person definitely is salty over something here. I feel like this person can be very cold and detached, but I do feel like they are spiteful as well. Um, and they like to kind of talk about you still. Like people might not even be asking this person about you, but this person just, they want to they wanna shit talk, you know? Like this person 
because they're obsessed, honestly. This person is obsessed and I feel like they are lacking accountability. I mean, we did pull the rules court, so something here could have happened within the heart chakra. Yeah, we have anxiety. If you guys have ever expressed to this person that you have had like any kind of mental health issues, I do feel like this person is um, telling other people about them, honestly. This person could be saying that you're making that stuff up or that you are creating um, anxiety for yourself. Like this person is just really, really cold. And I don't really feel like this person is a very fair person either. They just really seem to be unwilling to take any accountability for themselves. Ooh, we have indecision. Yeah, it's funny because again, I was maybe this person was picking between two paths, two people. Or maybe this was you. Because honestly, I feel like this person's a bit of a narcissist or a little bit of like a a person who, who um, they want to have what they want. And when they don't have that, they are willing to kind of pull you apart or break break you apart like this person doesn't really care about anybody but themselves maybe you guys made the decision here maybe you you made the choice in order to leave this this connection but I feel like this person um again they're putting a lot of the blame on you especially if there is some sort of a separation here they could also be saying you're indecisive you have mental issues um you're very imbalanced um some of you are focused on the wrong things I was picking that up already deceit person could be blaming you guys for a lot okay just know that and specifically i feel like they're talking to family they could even be talking to your family trying to paint you as a picture trying to paint you as a picture trying to paint you as the villain this person is just really really toxic and i feel like they lie so much they can't even keep themselves straight but they are definitely saying that you're deceptive. maybe some of you did cheat i don't really know i was hearing the mario williams song you know to start but I do feel like this person is very, very toxic. So I'm not even going to say that I blame you for this because I feel that this person really um, is kind of <laughs> spirits calling them insufferable. We have contract. But here's the thing. Regardless of what happened here, regardless of how long it's been since the two of you communicated or what, this person is still obsessed, right? Because there is still a soul contract here. So I do feel like you and this person had a very, very deep connection. You know, it might have been overwhelming for sure, but I feel like spiritually... This was something that you guys were supposed to work on. You were supposed to really grow um, with this connection. And there's a soul contract here. So you guys, if you still feel this person's energy, um, I highly suggest working with like doing a cord cutting or a clearing, something like this, because I feel this person is very, very toxic towards you. And I don't think that they, um, I feel them still in your energy is what I want to say. We have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. This person could be saying that now you're isolated, you're alone. And it's funny because I actually feel like whatever happened here, this person now feels very, very lonely and they're very sad about that. But for some reason, again, they seem to be painting you as the villain here. And I, I actually feel like you guys have a lot of support from like your friends and family and from spirit too, by the way, is what they're saying, what your team is saying to me. We have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. This person could say that you created a lot of um, issues here. You were the one who was responsible. You, you, you. Like, I feel like this person is trying to tell anybody who will listen to them that you're responsible for a lot of the pain within this connection. And it's complete and utter bullshit is what I'm hearing from spirit. You guys do not care is what they're also saying. But I feel like this, per like, this person is painting a picture because they don't want to admit how much they actually um, created very, very, like a lot of difficulty for you. You guys are very, very strong people. And I think you've been through a lot that has forced you to, to um, really grow up or shift very quickly. We have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. You guys can be very empathetic. Um, I feel like this person is twisting that though. And they're trying to tell other people that you're weak, you're childish, like you um, are too sensitive, blah, blah, blah. Very much like a gaslighting type of energy here. I feel like this person tries to mimic or um, mock your, your sensitivities to other people. They just have no idea what it's like to be you. What is this person saying? For some of you, this person does have like the marker of an abuser. So just be mindful of that, okay? I really don't like this energy. We have whale, great, great worry over nothing. This person could just be telling people too that they're over you. They don't think about this connection, blah, blah, blah. They're not worried about it, etc. However, I do feel like this person literally spends like a lot of their time thinking about you. So that is also bullshit. We have wall misunderstanding. This person could also be trying to express to other people that whatever happened between you was some sort of a misunderstanding, which again, 
I don't think it's true. I think it's utter bullshit that this person is trying to say that. I genuinely do feel like they know that they have created a lot of unhappiness and uncertainty for you, but they're unwilling to face the consequences of their actions. This person doesn't want to stand up and admit that they did anything wrong. So they're willing to, to say whatever to try to convince people that they were in the right and you were in the wrong. Um, and this person is just very, very toxic in that regard. We have vulture. Oh my God. So you think of vultures, right? What do they do? They eat like the flesh of the dead. Obviously, vultures are very important. I really do respect scavengers and animals like them um, because they deal with, you know, this very, very intense death energy. Um, and when I see a vulture too, even in this reading, I do feel like you guys have gone through a lot of shifting. You've gone through your death process. This is depression and anxiety, worry that someone is against you. This person, this person is really messed up. You know, I feel like they are almost a little bit paranoid. What's happening is that they are blaming you for a lot of this, you guys. So this person, again, if you have expressed any kind of like mental health issues, this person is telling other people. If you have expressed any kind of pain that you experienced in the past, unfortunately, I think this person is telling other people. So this is just like a very, very toxic um, person. I highly suggest, again, doing some kind of a cord cutting around this energy just because I feel like this person is vindictive and mean. Um, and yeah, this is just a really, really toxic energy. Holy smokes. So yes, my loves, pile number three, that is what I have. I will have a extended. You can uh, visit that in the description box. I know that this reading was a bit tough, so I'm sending you the biggest hug. Have a wonderful day.